The fate of the existing Royal Adelaide Hospital site could rest in the hands of the public with an international competition to help decide what to do with the land. The government says it will find the best design but won't commit to fund it. The government's been talking up its plan for the new Royal Adelaide but it's been quiet about the fate of the old hospital site until now. It doesn't have a plan but it will have a design competition. A way of actually getting the best ideas to inform the next step of the process and the community will be part of that. It's expected to yield proposals for residential buildings, open space, even office buildings. When the new hospital was first announced six years ago, the government suggested the existing site would be returned to the Botanic Gardens, an option that now appears all but forgotten. It needs to be considered amongst a whole lot of other ambitions for the site and I want to see what this process throws up. A process even the government's architect isn't preempting. I'd have to go through three to six months of research, analysis, testing, examining before I could tell you that. But contestants won't have that long with initial designs due for judging by late August. Winners will be compensated but the government isn't yet committing money towards realising their vision. You don't start by limiting people. You start by opening the door very broadly. It's quite clear the government doesn't know what they're doing. Now they're putting it out to an international competition. And it could get quite a range of suggestions. Extend the university. Nice big piazza down here, be lovely. I think what they should do is um, probably use the spot that they've got here for the homeless. There's nobody in Adelaide that hasn't thought about this, that hasn't got an idea about it. Tom Richardson, Nine News.